Oh, the anticipation on the new single is crazy, it's tremendous. I understand, like, everybody expecting that new, that new hot, hot, that new wave. So that's what I'm gonna give them, you know what I mean? Like, they can expect greatness every time that I drop a single, it's something new, something young, something young, something fresh for the street. So it's honest, it's about to be one of those club bangers. Um, the producers on the on the new track, the new single, Honest, is uh, Metro, you know what I'm saying? And, um, Spins, Spins, Hood, Rich Spins, that's the homies. So, in house, my in house producers, the producers I've been going with from day one, sticking to the same formula, you know, ain't nothing too much change. Oh, uh, yep, this is my first national tour. I've been uh, asked to go on tour several times, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like the time went right. So I'm building my fan base building a new audience as I go radio with different radio friendly songs, having a mixtape, being a mixtape, uh, having a mixtape audience, and then crossing over, dropping an album, trying to bridge that gap, bridge that gap, staying relevant in the streets. At the same time, uh, you know, dropping these radio songs and you don't want so certain songs to get in the way of certain songs when you're trying to do certain numbers and, and, and you understand the charts and you understand when you are, uh, when you want to sell iTunes records and you want to be um, sell singles on the summer jam, you know they only give you a certain number. they give you a certain time. You know what I mean? And they feel like when they saying they're only only gonna give you 20 minutes. When you know the fans want more from you, they expect more from you when they give you um, when you go into these summer jams. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand. And plus the lineup, it was just the timing that I wanted to come out. It was just everything played a factor in it. I was like, man, I want to be there when all the fans, when everybody packed in there. When they come in to see, they know they were, these records, they, they want to see me perform. I want the audience to be right. When the Drake tour started and when it was done, it was going to be uh, the right time to drop the album. Like, I wanted to drop the album right around November. The tour was ended in November. It was like perfect timing. It was like when I was going to approach about one tour, one tour, it ended up coming up. So I was like, man, it was, it, it was incredible just for it to even happen. Well, this new Miley Cyrus record, you know what I mean? I know people probably be like, yeah, we expect you because Mike Will have been working with her, but you know what I mean? I, I didn't expect me to be working on her record and for the records to come out how they uh, how they came out, you know? Yeah, yeah, the new record was just simply just to put something out, man, to just keep the fans enthused about the whole movement and everything that I got going on. 2013 and just this whole year, it's been, um, it's just been a year going up, so I want to just keep the level of, of, of uh, Anticipation, just that level, just the energy, everything right, the momentum right. So I just dropped that, uh, dropped the song. Shit, we about to keep dropping singles. I'm gonna drop single after single. Like I say, I'm gonna just keep dropping single after single before I um, put the album out so everybody can get the complete picture. Yo, yo, this future, and right now you're tuning in to Silver TV with Karen Silver. Salute.